Welcome to Whole CEO with Lisa G. I'm the best-selling author of The Boss Weight Loss. I'm bringing you the top tips to be unstoppable. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to actually pull up a chair with today's top experts in mindset, weight loss, business, and more. Learn our top tips so that you can have more energy, be fit and resilient, feel unstoppable, unshakable, and unbreakable. How top leaders regulate their emotions for 80% more success. So hey everyone, it's Lisa G coming at you live from mostly cloudy Kennewick, Washington today. Let me know in the comments where you're tuning in from. I'd love to see how far this video reaches, so share it with your network. Today, we're talking about boosting your EQ skills, specifically emotional regulation for high-performance leadership. This is mission critical. According to Harvard Business Review, executives with high EQ, like Richard Branson, for example, are 127% more productive and have 37% higher sales. But even top executives struggle with EQ. I get it. Who has the time? At the same time, investing in EQ pays off in a big way. In just five minutes, I'm going to share my top tips for boosting EQ fast. So share this with your network. If you're ready to join me in the fight against horrible bosses, let's start a movement and dive in with the first step. Step number one is, this is important, know your triggers. We all have emotional triggers. As leaders, it's crucial to identify yours so you can catch yourself before reacting. What are your triggers? Insecurity, impatience. For me, being ignored is a big one. <laughs> Knowing your triggers enables healthier responses. Have you thought about what your triggers are? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Your engagement matters. Tip number two, pump the brakes. When intense emotions hit, pump the brakes, pause, breathe deeply, give your mind a chance to catch up. Studies show emotional hijacking impairs executive function. So force yourself to take a 10 second break before reacting. This simple habit can prevent leadership mistakes. I like to breathe quickly, exercise, or if that fails, shout pickleball or something for a pattern interrupt to disrupt my current thought pattern. What works for you? Let me know. And tip number three is reframe your perspective. The reframe is you want to shift your emotions by changing your perspective. If you're feeling angry, try seeing it from their view. If you're anxious, remind yourself you've handled tough situations before. Reframing builds emotional intelligence. Let me know if you've tried this. I know the last few years have been tough and reactive. What's working right now? Tip number four is talk it out. For me, talking helps process my emotions. Not with my friends, but a coach or a therapist provide unbiased guidance as you walk through your feelings. We all need a listening ear sometimes. I know leadership can be a lonely road. This part is mission critical. And finally, tip number five is practice mindfulness. Mindfulness builds EQ. Try meditating, journaling, observing emotions without judgment. Increased self-awareness leads to better self-regulation. Do you agree? Let me know in the comments. 
In just five minutes, we've covered the EQ basics. Start applying these tips now to boost your leadership skills. Visit my site and follow me on LinkedIn, High Performance Executive Coaching. Thanks to all who voted. I'm creating a free EQ quiz to change prehistoric leadership forever. I need your help. Check out my post on LinkedIn from Friday and vote. Message me for coaching to take your EQ to the next level. Let me know what resonated most. I'm Lisa G. Thanks for coming and I'll see you soon. Don't forget to comment, like, and share. Thanks for coming a whole CEO of Lisa G. After over 20 years helping people lose weight and get fit, I'm so excited to announce that I found the missing link with my coaching. Message me if you want to learn how to look better, feel better, and go faster with a master. Lisa G at lisagfit.com.